Today is 420, the highest of high holy days in the Moon Alice calendar. It's 420. It's Sunday. It's 420. 420. Oh, yeah, yeah. 420. Today is 420. 420. 420. And you know why I know that? Because it's one of the best days in your life. 420. 420. Happy Easter. <laughs> 420. I told you. It's 420, everyone. You know where your mind is? It's 420 somewhere. Might as well be here. Rick for heavy weather. Change but not to fear. It's 420 somewhere. Might as well be here. Thunder clap and lightning. Then the sky will clear. We wanted to have a poster for every show. And we had an art director, Chris Shaw, and he was convinced that we would be able to create a production line to do 100 posters a year. There's 696 posters in the series to date. We're just slightly less than seven years. As the art director for Moon Alice, I think it's really important to let the artists express themselves however they want to do it. Some kind of art would be happening anyway. We give it focus, we give it energy, and we give it some extra resources, all of which I think have added up to this remarkable show you see here today. And more importantly, a group of poster artists who are all smiling. We settled on this notion on 420. We would put out an open call to all of our artists saying, we'll commission as many posters as you can do, one each. We began, I think, with seven the first year in a screen print, and then 11 in a screen print. The next year, we did another 11 with a silk screen. By 2013, our set got even bigger. I think we did 15 offsets that year and a silk screen, so we we're up to 16. Oh my God, we'll never do better than that. Now this year, 18 posters and three screen prints, 21 pieces of art on one day. My inspiration for my 420 poster this year was a Grateful Dead song called China Cat Sunflower. My inspiration was a poster. Wow, man, that's hard to explain. It became a maze to me, and I had to finish it that way. My inspiration for the poster was color and necklace. The necklace comes from having experiences down in Juniper Street. This is called Dread Kennedy. So it's an image I made in 1977 and has since redone for Dead Kennedy's record cover. My inspiration for my 420 poster, uh, stylistically, maybe Roy Lichtenstein meets Carlos Castaneda in the high desert. My inspiration for this year's poster was kind of smoke rolling off the moon with a, a very kind of hippie nature based goddess. Just to show a gal doing life walking a tightrope and getting where she needs to be. The 420 show here at Moon Alice. The inspiration for my 420 poster this year is pretty simple, it's Easter. I thought of gathering up the tribes, kind of tribal war paint, but it's Easter egg colors. On a bed of pot leaves, of course. The inspiration for our poster was actually from my partner and my wife, Patricia. She wanted to do a literal translation of Moon Alice, so the top of the poster has a moon with Alice from Alice in Wonderland reaching up to the moon. The earliest known reference to 420 in literature, four and 20 black birds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? I realized that there was an Easter bunny missing. <laughs> and uh, the inspiration really was just to give something to the kids. It was a poster I started about a year ago. I had a nice border that I cut, cut out. It was um, an old Lucky Strike ad. And then it just grew and evolved. This year, we created three silkscreen posters for this event. Two of them were printed at Hangar 18, Chuck Sperry's studio. Being one of the artists that creates a silkscreen poster is, for me, special because I don't do them very often. The process involves going into the studio and burning screens, coding screens, exposing the screens, and then printing each color separately and wait for each color to dry in between, and then paper cutting. <laughs> My inspiration for this year's silk screen was Egyptian culture, and I just thought I'd give a different uh, spin this year on the whole concept of tribe. To create a silk screen poster for this event is not out of my realm of existence because I think as a screen printer. So my inspiration for this poster was icon art, religious icon art, uh, Greek Orthodox, with uh, mixing in underground comics, Mickey Mouse gloves, the all-seeing eye, a little bit of spiritualism with mysticism. 
Every year when 420 comes around, the week before, for one day, we have to assemble the poster sets. It's quite fun. <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of miles walked around the table. The payoff in the end is just in people's faces, right? Almost like a kid in, in all of us a little bit. <laughs> well, I would expect next year we make more, maybe even bring in some other artists from outside of our Moon Owls tribe to start joining the party. We're very soon going to be opening the Haight Street Arts Center, which is a print shop and gallery for everyone who wants to do fine art rock posters. This is like the other way around. Now the band is now supporting all these artists. So I think it's a great thing. It makes me so happy. You look around and go, wow, look at all this cool art. And lightning, and the sky will clear.